Hello, Engineer Layer here. Let's learn about the cross or the vector product. So, tignan natin, no? Uh, yung cross product ni vector A at ni vector B will result into another vector. So, nakalagay dito, the result is another vector. Okay? Nandito yung nakaraan kong drawing to guide us. We have the magnitude ng result ng cross product is actually the product of the perpendicular projection to B and B and the magnitude of B. So, perpendicular projection naman ni A. No? Perpendicular projection ni A kay B. Ito yun, perpendicular yan. And as you can see, this is simply A sine of theta. A sine theta. Kaya A sine theta times B, we get that the magnitude of the cross product is AB sine theta. Or geometrically, okay? using geometry, yung magnitude ng cross product is actually the area of the parallelogram, parallelogram with sides A and B. So, ito yung AB, no? parallelogram. Ang side niya is A at saka B. Paano ba kunin ang area ng parallelog, uh, parallelogram? Paano kunin ang area? It's, it's simply yung base. It's yung base niya, B. At yung height niya, ito yung height. Di ba? Ito yung height. Which is the perpendicular projection of A kay B. Yung A perpendicular. Dapat perpendicular to. Yan. Okay? So that's the magnitude. Now, remember... The cross product is a vector. Pag sinabing vector, merong magnitude. Okay na tayo sa magnitude. Kasi, ito yun. Pero paano yung direction? Yan ang next nating pag-uusapan. The direction of the vector or the cross product. Okay? Yung direction ng cross product, malalaman natin using the right hand rule. So, i-curl up mo yung right hand mo, yung fingers ng right hand mo, from A to B, dahil A cross B. Okay? I-curl mo siya from A to B dito sa drawing natin. Kung saan tumuro yung thumb mo, doon ang direction. So, dito, if these are the vectors A and B, then A cross B points up yung thumb ko, kaya ang direction is sa positive Z direction or Kapag naka-vector notation ka, ang may kita mo, K hat. ba? Diba? Kasi meron tayong I hat, J hat, at saka K hat sa vector notation. So, it will be directed at the positive Z direction. Kapag ganito naman, B cross A. So, from B, i-curl mo papunta kay A. Yung kamay mo, yung daliri ng kamay mo sa right hand. Pababa yung magiging turo nung thumb mo, thumb points down. So, that's why it's in the negative Z direction. Ang vectors, pwede rin natin express in vector form. That's why we have here the cross or the vector product in vector notation. Simply lang, no? We have the vector A cross vector B is equal to this uh, expression. What is this? Okay, sulat mo sa taas yung ating unit vectors i, j, k, i hat, j hat, k hat, and then isulat mo yung components ni vector a, a uh, sub x, a sub y, at saka a sub z, and then isulat mo yung components ni vector b, b sub x, b sub y, at saka b sub z. Mauuna kung ano yung nauna dito, nauna si a, mauna rin si A dito. Pero syempre, ang pinakauna, yung I, J, K. Now, ano to? Ano tong dalawang bars na to? Yung dalawang bars na yan signifies that we are getting the determinant of a matrix. So, onting review dun sa determinant, ang ginawa ko, kinopya ko yung unang tatlong column, and then yung dalawang column sa unahan, kinopya ko ulit. Yung pag ganitong diagonals, multiply mo, positive sila, yung pakabilang diagonals, negative. That's why you will get this value. At ito ang pinakamahabang form ng ating cross product. Ang pinakasimple pala, hindi mahaba. Ang pinakasimpleng form ng ating cross product okay, ay ganito. So, reviewin nyo yung determinant, makukuha nyo ito. Let's have an example. Magsimula tayo sa example na to. 
we have here a vector A which is 3 units sa positive x direction, 0, zero units sa y, so it's a purely uh, pa x direction. And then we have vector B purely pa y direction, 4 units papunta sa y. Inukuha yung cross product. Now, ang cross product is the area of the parallelogram, yung, yung kanyang... Uh, Magnitude is the area of the parallelogram. In this case, it's a rectangle dahil purely pa x at pa y. So, ang area nito is 3 by 4, kaya 12. We expect to get an answer of 12. Doing the cross product by determinants, so maraming 0, maraming mga cancel, we have a k hat times 3 times 4, 3, 4 k hat, and then 0, 0, 0, so minus 0 is equal to 12... Okay, 12 in the k hat direction. So, 12 units in the positive z direction. Uh, chinek lang natin kung tama ba yung determinant at saka yung area ng rectangle. So, parehas namang 12. So, I think tama yan. Let's have here another example. We have uh, vector A is negative 2i hat plus j hat. Vector B is 3i hat plus okay. 2j hat. Ang cross product again is the determinant. So, I have shown here paano ilagay yung determinant. Yung i, j, k muna. And then yung vector a is negative 2, 1, tapos 0 sa k direction. Yung vector b is 3, 2, tapos 0 sa k direction. Kokopyahin mo lang yung unang dalawang columns. And then gagawin mo tong criss-cross pattern na to. They call it the basket method sa pagkuha ng determinant. Reviewin yung pagkuha ng determinant. And you will get a negative k hat. So, ibig sabihin, it's 8 ang magnitude in the negative z direction. Now, kung sa dot product, meron siyang special uh, natawag kapag 0 yung dot product, sa cross product, meron din. When the vector A and the vector B are parallel, then... No? wala silang perpendicular projection sa isa't isa kasi parallel sila. So, ibig sabihin, yung cross product nila, 0. And we can do the reverse kapag 0 yung cross product and A or B are hindi 0, walang 0 sa kanila, pero yung cross product is 0. Then, A is parallel to B. And by the way, non-commutative nga pala ang cross product. Pag sinabing A cross B, hindi siya necessarily equal sa B cross A. As we have seen doon sa kaninang example, yung A, A cross B natin kanina, kung ito si A at ito si B, okay, A cross B, i-curl mo yung fingers mo from A to B, ang magiging direction ay sa positive Z direction. And then yung B cross A, kung yan pa rin yung vectors mo, B cross A, i-curl mo from B papunta kay A, your thumb will point down, so nasa, point down, so nasa negative Z direction. Although the magnitudes will be the same, the direction are not. So, hindi sila same vectors. Non-commutative ang uh, cross product. Like me video kung ayos. Pag hindi, pag mo i-dislike, leave ka ng comment kung bakit, ha? Sige na, subscribe.